How about this? A Christmas card that you don't even have to open to see what's on the inside. You just look through the window. Look at that. Brilliant effect, isn't it? Just take a nice big piece of thin card or thick paper, a nice Christmassy colour like red or green, fold it in half to make a very simple card. And then take one of these see-through margarine lids. Now, I don't know whether you've ever noticed, but on these see-through margarine lids, you've got this lip that runs around the outside that's much wider than this raised rim. Now, the idea is I want to draw around that raised rim. So, just place it in the middle of your card, turn it over with the rim on the bottom, and then just slip your pencil underneath the lip and draw around the rim. Just doing it very carefully. You have to be quite accurate with this and quite neat. I'm just going around in pencil. And there we are. And you've got something that looks like that. And the idea is to cut this area out. Now, if you're cutting cardboard, you might need to pop your pencil through first to get you started. Cut it out as neatly as you can, and you'll have something that looks like that. And that is the start of your window. And then cut out a picture of a Christmassy scene from a magazine, or you could use one of last year's Christmas cards, and just cut it to fit the inside of your card, and just glue it into place so that you can see it through the gap in the window. And then take a piece of Christmas wrapping up paper, something that's got a really good pattern on it, and draw around the bottom of your card onto the Christmas wrapping up paper. And cut it out so that you have a shape that fits the bottom of your card perfectly, like that. And then take a different coloured piece of Christmas wrapping up paper, something like that this time. And then using your see-through margarine lid as a guide for the window, place that in the middle. and just draw a set of curtains around it. So I'm just using a felt tip pen here to draw a pelmet on the top, and then two nice fat curtains down the side. And it's very important that you use two different coloured pieces of Christmas wrapping up paper. So there they go, curtains down the side like that. And then you cut those curtains out, and you have something that looks like that. There it is. And then bring your card back in. And the idea is to stick that bottom piece of Christmas wrapping up paper onto the bottom of the card to make it look like wallpaper. And the curtains wrapping up paper on the top like that, in position to make it look like curtains. And when you've done that, you've got something that looks like this. And look at that. What I've done here is I've even created some Christmas decorations in felt tip pen and just coloured them in with paint. And I've gone around all the detail here with black permanent marker just to make it stand out. It looks really bold and striking. And then design your window. Again, take your see-through margarine lid and put it face down and then take a black permanent marker. Best to do it with permanent marker because it goes on very easily onto your margarine lid. Now I'm going to do those lattice design windows, you know, the sort of crisscross design, I think they look really Christmassy. You can use a ruler to do this if you want. I'm just going to do it very carefully here. I like doing things freehand, though. I think they look a lot more, well, freehand, really. There we are. There's your windows in. And then you could take a silver pen and you could just put little bits of snow where the snow is collected in these lattice windows. You used to see these lattice windows on the old-fashioned shops. Not that I remember the old-fashioned shops, of course. And then you could always put some snowflakes in, like that, and a bit of snow that's collected on the back. Now, you must also go around your window frame with your black permanent marker, and it's quite difficult to dig it in to all those nooks and crannies. I've tried there to get it right in, and from the front, it looks quite neat. But you could always use black acrylic paint for that if you can't get your pen in. And when it's finished, you do it all neatly, and it looks like that. And then you just put on some dabs of glue around the edge of that lip. Just put a couple of little dabs on to show you. Just do it very quickly. Just dabbing on the old PVA glue. It's the best glue to use for this. I think it's the best glue to use for everything. Very versatile. I love it myself, PVA glue. Just the ordinary school glue. Get in the white squidgy bottles. And then bring your card back in and open it out like that and pop the window in from the back. And it should be a perfect fit. In it goes from the back, sort of popping it in from the back of the front, if you get my meaning. And just press it into position 
there like that, very carefully, and you could write a nice Christmas message on the inside as well. And there it is. I think that looks absolutely fantastic. And if you haven't got any Christmas wrapping up paper, you could always do your own design on the front of your card and colour it in with poster paint or even your felt tip pens. Try it yourself. A Christmas card that you can see through.